Now then, Sky News understands that the government has asked the phone company O2 to provide them with anonymous data which will be used to track whether people are following orders on social distancing. Our technology correspondent Roland Manthorpe reports now on the use of mobile data in the COVID-19 crisis. In times of isolation, smartphones are an escape, but also a tether which reveal your movements every minute of the day. That's why, we've learned, Downing Street is working with mobile network O2 to analyse mobile phone location data. As the government tries to find out if its social distancing guidelines are having an effect. Depending on the quality of the data, you can determine whether someone is on a bicycle or on, uh, in a private vehicle or even in a bus. Um, you can also get information about whether they're taking public transit in terms of the tube, so you can understand a little bit, in certain cases, depending on the quality of that data, about the mode of transit, and that's very important in terms of understanding exposure. The anonymous data will be used to track population movements in London, the centre of the UK's COVID-19 pandemic. Crucial information for the government as it attempts to find out what works in the capital before, potentially, extending restrictions to other cities. Obviously, this raises fears about Big Brother, and a mobile phone company could track me to this exact spot. But that's not what the government is after. It's looking for aggregate data so it can capture the movement of the entire city. That's why we understand the government has gone only to O2 and not to all the mobile networks. It's looking for something indicative, not total surveillance. That doesn't mean there aren't concerns for civil liberties, given the sheer power of this data. The question here isn't whether the government uses data in an emergency. It absolutely should. We're all going to support that. The question is whether people get suspicious about what the government is doing, and whether people start thinking that the government is going to use data in all kinds of ways that it's not explaining. Other countries are using mobile phone data much more aggressively. This app monitors the location of COVID-19 cases in Israel, where the government has also used mobile phone data to trace contacts of sick people. Like this man, marched away after police suspected him of fleeing hospital and boarding a train. The UK government isn't going that far, but it hopes the data it gets from O2 will help it understand what's really going on in London and keep these streets empty without the threat of force. Roland Manthorpe, Sky News.